Well, I'm on the phone with MDI head coach Mark Shields, as we are every Monday during football season. And coach, uh, another good victory over Belfast on Friday night. Uh, it got a little hairy at the end, but uh, you've, overall, you've got to be pleased. Yeah, we are pleased, Chris. Uh, you know, we we knew coming into this game that. Um, they were going to be the best opponent that we had faced thus far, and they definitely played that way. Um, you know, we knew trying to stop their deceptive run game was going to be difficult. And, you know, they hon- honestly, they threw the ball a lot better than I thought they they would. And um, you're right, late in the game they started throwing the ball, and we started having some problems. And then, you know, of course we ended up snapping the, a punt over my punter's head. And, after they'd scored once in the fourth quarter, and then all of a sudden now they're scoring twice, and thank goodness our defense was able to, you know, stop them on their two-point conversion, which still kept it, you know, to a two-score game. And um, yeah, I mean, I felt the kids, you know, they played with, you know, a lot of intensity. I thought they played together as a group well. I defensively, I thought we, you know, we played very, very well to, to shut down what they want to do. I mean, overall, they. Uh, really were not able to sustain any sort of, you know, run game consistently uh, late in the game. Their their best running back, number 11, their quarterback, uh, he started hitting us for some off-tackle plays. But, uh, you know, overall, I think it was sort of a, a bend but don't break defense. And, uh, you know, I, I think we talked to kids a lot during the week was turnovers because we thought it was going to be really rainy and wet and the field was fabulous, actually. But, you know, we won the turnover battle. Uh, they had – a big fumble and interception and you know two interceptions i mean it was great yeah two interceptions right and um you know we put the ball on the ground a few times but we were able to uh recover it and you know against a really good team like that two teams that i think are very very close uh turnovers are are huge so yeah pleased uh with the win and uh you know now we get ready uh for the Black Raiders of Winslow. <laughs> uh, what do you, game ball, did you award a game ball? or? Yeah, you know, that's still uh, something us coaches are talking about. I talked to one of my assistants today again about it today, um, and it hasn't been decided yet. Uh, we're going to give it out uh, this afternoon, and uh, we have a few names that uh, are definitely in the running. Uh, you know, we usually, seniors usually get the first nod because it is their senior year, and um, and we have some really strong seniors this year, so uh, it'll probably be one of my seniors, and it's down to two or three different guys right now. All right. Um, I, again, some penalties, uh, untimely ones. I, it was another unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, and uh, as we move into the into the heart of the season, those things just yeah, – I, I know you're not happy with those. Absolutely not. And uh, I showed my displeasure to. The I could see you one. jumping on the sideline. Yeah, from the far. Yeah, I was not very happy. And um, once again, that's just a kid, you know, losing his cool and uh, his composure. And you can't have it. I mean, you're going to have times in games where you're going to be emotional and upset. And for whatever reason, I mean, it could be a player from another team. It could be you're upset the way you're playing. Whatever it might be, but. It's to me those unsportsmanlike conduct penalties are selfish penalties because that's all about you as an individual and not your teammates because you can't you know keep your composure and you know here it is late in the game and you know we give them 15 more yards next thing you know they're on the 35 they're on the 50 now right uh, you know and they're tough enough to stop we can't be giving teams you know yardage like that because we can't keep our emotions in check so. That's something uh, we'll address again this week. I mean, overall, I was real pleased with the lack of penalties as far as us playing the game. But once again, our emotions got the best of us for a couple guys. And uh, next thing you know, we have those unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. So, yeah, they will uh, be uh, talked to again this week, and uh, we'll keep reinforcing that that is not acceptable. Um, Only threw the ball uh, a handful of times after it was – Air Trojan week one. Yeah, you know, and like I told you the other day, I think it was Thursday we had talked before the game that, you know, I was going to kind of feel my way through the first quarter, and, you know, I kind of felt like what they were doing defensively, we knew that they were going to bring their linebackers a lot uh, through those A-gaps right over my center, and, you know, to try to throw the ball when they're bringing the house like that is real difficult, and 
sometimes the best way to attack those blitzing linebackers is quick hitting running plays. Yep. So we ran a lot of our base quick hitting straight ahead type plays with our halfbacks and our uh, fullback. And, you know, we were able to get outside a little bit, but for the most part, they contained us on the outside. But well, most of our success was, you know, between the tackles because those linebackers, they're coming hard. And, yeah, sometimes they're going to hit us. You know, they're going to stick us at the line of scrimmage. But if we can get by them or they guess wrong, next thing you know, you're to the second level with that running back, and you just got a safety out there trying to tackle you. So we uh, we just kind of felt like our best uh, option against Belfast, the way they were playing their defense, was to, uh, you know, go straight ahead at them. What about injuries uh, from the Belfast game? Yeah, uh, the biggest injury uh, is Spencer Cashmar. Spencer is a junior, number 68, uh, playing defensive tackle for us. And Spencer is having one heck of a season, mm. just uh, an animal. He's all over the field and real dynamic type tackle. And um, he thought he had heard a pop of his ankle uh, that night, which is never good. Right. Um, we were hoping that he didn't have a fracture. And sure enough, he had x-rays on Saturday or Friday night. And I, I learned on Saturday from his parents that it is not fractured. Uh, the doctors seem to think that he will be back in a couple of weeks, so that's great news. So other than Spencer, I haven't had any kids come to me today, so I'm assuming that, uh, once again, I'm knocking on wood in my <laughs> office here, that uh, we are a fairly healthy football team. Well, you've got a big uh, chore ahead of you this Friday night, taking on the defending uh, state champs, the Winslow Black Raiders. They, they've romped over... Uh, Belfast week one, 43 nothing, and then John Baptist on Saturday, 63 nothing. Yeah, I mean, they're as good as it gets. Uh, they've been consistently, you know, at the top of our conference for the last few years, and, I mean, there's a lot of tradition down there. And, you know, once again for us, we're looking to get better every week, and, you know, I think it's really exciting. Uh, I told the kids it feels like we're climbing this ladder, you know, that we're kind of each team we face is getting tougher and tougher. And, you know, can we meet that challenge? And, you know, I, I'm really excited about the week. I'm really excited about the opportunity to play Winslow and, uh, you know, see where we are in this conference. And, uh, you know, I think uh, our guys are excited about it, you know, to have that opportunity to, to play with the best and uh, to see where we're at. What do you work on this week? Yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things. I didn't leave the game thinking there's one specific thing we really need to work on. I mean, there's plenty of room for improvement um, across the board, but I think we just get better at our positions, uh, you know, our breakdown drills with our position coaches right across the board. I mean, everybody can improve on certain things. And, you know, with Winslow, they don't have a lot of tendencies as far as the way they run their offense, so it's not like you can kind of key on one certain thing. I mean, they'll hit you with the pass or the run. Uh, they're good at special teams. So, you know, for us, it's, it's just getting better across the board uh, with offense, defense, and our special teams to, to try to compete with them. All right. What do you want to say to everybody listening? Yeah, we had a great crowd out there uh, Friday was, night. Versus it was Delta. huge. Yeah, it was awesome. And, I, you know, I knew Wayne Harvey was in town with the <laughs> boys from Channel 5, and I thought, oh, boy, we probably won't have a good crowd because uh, people, you know, they'll probably stay home and watch it. And um, but we had a lot of people get out there, and uh, we're going to need even more people to uh, to beat the Black Raiders of Winslow. All right, Coach, have a great week. We'll talk to you on Thursday as you get ready to take oh take on Winslow. But give us a little shout out for for Ellsworth with their first pickup uh, yeah, pickup of the win. I was so happy uh, when I found out early Saturday morning that. Uh, they had gotten their first win over WA. Um, you know, hats off to Coach Crawford and his staff. Those guys have been working real hard and, you know, behind the scenes. And it's not just on the field for those guys because they have to fundraise. They have to do all kinds of stuff that a lot of coaches I don't have to worry about. You know, where am I going to get the money for equipment and our uniforms and the field and the officials, all that stuff. Um, they do that. So that, that's a, a big burden on their shoulders. But to get that first win uh, must feel great. And, you know, I told them, hey, let's keep it rolling. They uh, have another great opportunity this week against Stern High School. So best of luck to them, and uh, congratulations. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Chris.